Hello Internet, welcome to another network analysis tutorial. This is the second tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to understand superposition theorem to solve electrical network problems. Superposition theorem is pretty sensible and is pretty logical and easy to understand because it says that if a number of voltage or current sources are acting simultaneously in a linear network then the resultant current in any branch is the algebraic sum of the currents that would be produced in it when each source is acting alone in the network replacing all the other sources all the other independent sources by their internal resistances. So that was the statement of superposition theorem. We are going to discuss this. We are going to understand this in a simpler manner. <coughs> to understand this, I'll, I'll simply draw a network with, let us say, two sources. and the current in question is this the current in the branch containing let us say 2 ohm resistor and I'm just taking arbitrary values here random values now according to superposition theorem it says that the current in this branch I would be equal to the current which would be produced if we keep 20 volt voltage source in the network eliminating this current source plus the current due to this 1 ampere current source eliminating this voltage source so this would be the current due to 20 volt source plus current due to 1 ampere source. Now incidentally the current from this voltage source will flow in this direction and the current from this current source will also flow in this direction so they'll add up that clarifies the algebraic part of the statement also had this current source been in this direction then we would subtract these two currents because it's an algebraic sum now the big question and the important question is how to eliminate the other sources when we keep just one source in the network for example when we when we would want to find current due to 20 volt source we'd simply keep this voltage source here and we do away with this current source but how do we do away with the sources so the rule of thumb is all the independent current sources are open circuited and all the other independent voltage sources are short circuited so when we keep this voltage source we do away with this current source by keeping this open so 
this would not make any sense also and the current due to 20 volt source would be simply calculated as 20 upon 7 voltage upon resistance so this part is done and when we would want to keep this current source we are going to short circuit the voltage source now we are just keeping one source at a time please understand we need to make the network as many times as many sources are there in the network so if we have two sources we'll need to draw the network twice and this becomes the network for the current source present only and the current due to this current source can be found out by the current division rule so one ampere is flowing into this node when it goes into this node it becomes one is the total current into the other branches resistance and the sum of resistances in my branch and the other branch uh, I assume that you are aware of the current division rule which I have applied here so the current becomes 5 upon 12 so we have found out this current also we will simply add these currents because they are in the same direction uh, I'm sorry this is going to be 2 because uh, the resistance in this branch is 2 in my branch is 2 so this becomes 7 uh, I misinterpreted due to the handwriting so it becomes 5 by 7 so my total current becomes equivalent to 20 by 7 plus 5 by 7 so which is pretty logical so superposition theorem says find out current using each source and then add or subtract depending upon the direction of the current in that particular branch now there are some interesting uh, superposition theorem questions that that will try to trick any problem solver so I'll take up a few examples here in that way uh, you'll be understanding this concept more and we'll have a thorough look into that also I have a question in hand here where this is not a random question by the way this is a very simple question of superposition theorem now this theorem uh, superposition theorem can be applied by considering one source at a time we need to find current in this branch now let's try and do this when we consider the 10 volt source we shall we shall do away with the 1 ampere current source and when we do that we are only left with a 5 ohm resistor in series with the voltage source because this current source will be open circuited and let me assign this current as I1 which becomes equivalent to 10 upon 5 which is 2 ampere now this becomes the part one of the question in part two of the question 
we are going to short the voltage source and we are still trying to find out the current in the 5 ohm resistor due to the 1 ampere current source now please understand the current is flowing in this direction it reaches this node it has two branches where it needs to flow and one branch offers zero resistance so all of the current will flow in this branch and I2 will be zero so this is the tricky part but even if you do it with the current division rule it says I2 is equivalent to 1 ampere which is the total current flowing into the node what is the current in my opposite branch it is uh, the resistance in opposite branch is 0 and the sum of resistances is, is 0 plus 5 so that also results in a 0 current 0 ampere current but whenever you see a shorted branch in parallel to the current source you can simply uh, remove the other branch because <coughs> that doesn't make sense and my total current will be 2 ampere because of these two sources because it's an algebraic sum and I have another question here and we need to find I which is the current in the 2 ohm branch again a very simple question but it should also give us some insight into how superposition theorem is used in solving questions like these let's take part one of the question we'll redraw the network by keeping one ampere source only and the network is redrawn something like this now here we need to have a look at this part of the network we have a shorted branch parallel to a branch that has some resistance but we already know from the previous discussion that if if at all any current reaches this node it will not go into this branch because it has an it has a much easier path that it will follow a path with the zero resistance so we can simply do away with this branch because no current will actually flow here and this branch is dormant as good as dead so it becomes easier for us to now find out the current in this branch uh, this branch is only parallel to one other branch which is one ohm branch and one ampere current is flowing into this node one ampere current flows and reaches this node and if I'm talking about finding current I1 that becomes equivalent to total current flowing into this node 1 ampere into opposite branches resistance upon opposite branches resistance plus my own resistance so that becomes 1 by 3 ampere now the part 2 of the question would involve keeping this 1 volt voltage source and open circuiting this current source so that will result in redrawing the network 
like this. <coughs> now please understand if at all any current reaches this point it will not go here because it does not have a complete path to follow so this is as good as being not there so we are left with this simple network one volt source some current is originating from this one volt voltage source and there are two branches parallel to this one volt voltage source and if I'm trying to find I2 that should be easy enough to find it is equivalent to the voltage at points A and B which is 1 volt upon the resistance in my branch which is 3 ohm so I2 becomes equivalent to 1 by 3 ampere and uh, incidentally both branches contain 3 ohm resistance so both these branches will have 1 by 3 amperes of current and which is good enough but if we look at the direction of I1 it was flowing in uh, the clockwise direction I2 was flowing in anti-clockwise so the total sum I becomes equivalent to I1 minus I2 which is 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 which is equivalent to 0 so the resultant current I flowing in this 2 ohm resistor branch in this network containing two sources one ampere source and a one volt source is zero uh, zero ampere so that is how superposition theorem logically solves the problems with independent sources very very easily it makes a whole lot of sense when we keep just one active source in the network at one point in time removing all other sources and then keep on finding the currents due to individual sources and finally adding them up algebraically and I hope this tutorial on superposition theorem was helpful and if you considered this tutorial helpful then please subscribe to my channel and please subscribe and share if you wish that will help me a lot thank you so much for watching the video have a good day and a good life bye